Hi friends in Corpus Christi and San Antonio, um, all of our IG Rescue friends. Um, we're here making collars today. The first step is to buy, um, we're using 100% cotton material and we're cutting it on the bias. That's important because it's more stretchy if it's, um, if it's on the bias. And um, I'm going to tell you who's here today. We have Kelly, Karen, Santos, and Kevin. Richard. Richard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Richard. <laughs> and Anne. And I'm Jean. And Bert is uh, holding the camera, and I'll get a shot of Bert later. So we cut two inch strips. The, the strips of material are two inches wide. And um, next I'll show you what we do with those two inch wide strips. Oh, wait. One more thing. There's corners. In the corners, the parts that can't be. Some parts are too, you just, it's going to be too short to make a braided collar, so you can use it to make little doggy bandanas, so nothing goes to waste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. So, we, we Is it on? Okay. Mm -hmm. this, um, we have three strips of fabric, two inches wide, and we, to get the braid started, we safety pin the ends together. And Frank won't tall, is not very tolerant of other males. And then we just start, we use anything, but a chopstick works very well. Anything will do. And we just start braiding. You just kind of turn the edges and kind of fold them. And it doesn't have to be perfect. They come out like little ragamuffin collars. And um, sorry, I'm kind of fumbling here. I can edit it, Bert, and make it better. <laughs> and uh, this is Hannah. Hannah's up for adoption. And you just start braiding. You just kind of, there's the wrong side of the fabric and the right side of the fabric. If you just kind of fold it inward a little bit as you go and try to keep the braid flat. It's the, bra the little collars come out nice if you kind of mush it along the way. Kind of braid and mush, braid and mush. And um, let me get some more braided and then we'll come back to you. Okay, so now you can Once see we one, mm -hmm. now you can see we have um, a braided length, and um, we're making uh, three different sizes. Uh, the braided length is going to be 10 inches, 11 inches, and 12 inches. Those are the three sizes we're making from here to here, not counting the little frizzy, the frilly ends, because we're going to now take it, loop it Swallow like it. that, so that we have. Ends going this way and ends going that way, and we're going to run it through the machine. Santos is taking them and he's looping it together, the ends together, okay. and he's just going to run it through. You could also hand stitch these. I hand stitched a couple of them. They're they're probably going to be stronger if you run them through a sewing machine. Oh. Anne is taking them and she's trimming them into nice little short pieces because it's kind of cute if they're all evenly trimmed into nice little short points. It gets more festive and cute. Start it first before I mm -hmm. talk. Now we have a little short piece that we just tie. It's just a one single short piece that we tie over the middle and it hides any stitching. If you hand stitch like me, it's kind of ugly stitching and it needs to be hidden. <laughs> but with the machine, it looks nicer. But that little tie is an extra little bow. <laughs> Hannah's modeling a little blue and Lacey is modeling a Christmas one. They're very, very cute, and they can wash them. The more you wash them, the cuter they look. Yes, you're a good girl. That's a beautiful collar, Belle. You're modeling. Lacey wants to show you her favorite one. She says, that one's her favorite. And my favorite is, I don't know which one my favorite is, but they're all beautiful. So we had a lot of fun today, and 
We sure hope y'all have as much fun at your braiding party as we did. Bye-bye, y'all.